When it comes to the truck market, if you're an EV fan, 2021 and 2022 are going to be some exciting years. There are quite a few new all electric trucks coming this year and next. And in this video, we're going to look at each one of these trucks and compare them side by side. I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. The truck that has of course caught the most headlines is a Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck is available starting at around $40,000 for the single motor version, around $50,000 for the dual motor version, and around $70,000 for the tri-motor version. The Cybertruck is slated to be manufactured in Tesla's Gigafactory going up in Austin right now, and there should be limited production numbers in late 2021 into 2022. Of course, the exterior of the Cybertruck is very unique. It's made out of stainless steel, which is corrosion and dent resistant. It has a six and a half foot covered locking bed or vault. It will include 120 volt and 240 volt outlets, a built-in air compressor, and Tesla's infamous armor glass. And we know how that went during the demonstration, but we do know that Tesla's armor glass is a lot stronger than standard glass. The interior of the Cybertruck is also going to be very simple and clean with seating for six people. When you look at the value proposition for the Tesla Cybertruck, the specs and the features and what you're getting for the price starting at $40,000, it's no wonder why it's been so popular and why Tesla has gotten so many pre-orders for this truck. Another truck that is coming very soon is the Rivian R1T. This truck has a starting price of around $67,000 $500 before the U.S. federal tax credit. It allows you to choose either a 300 or 400 mile range version. It has impressive acceleration, ability to tow up to 11,000 pounds, a quad motor system, and the first delivery should start sometime around June of this year. Here's a chart showing each one of the versions that you can purchase of this truck. Of course, the launch edition is the one being delivered June of 2021. And all these prices here are shown, not including the $7,500 US tax credit. The Rivian R1T has a very spacious and well-equipped luxurious interior, but it's still adventure ready. Here are some words that Rivian uses to describe the interior. The R1T is designed with premium, adventure-proof materials that welcome mud, sand, and everything else you can throw at it. When it comes to the driver's assistance and autonomous features that you would expect from a truck of this price range, every truck will be capable of level 3 autonomy. The R1T has several unique features including the gear tunnel, which is located behind the rear doors and provides a really useful place to store tools, trail shoes, ski boots, wetsuits, etc. For an additional $5,000, you can even add an outdoor kitchen that stores in this gear tunnel. When it comes to off-roading, this truck is able to wade in over three feet of water. And thanks to the quad motor system, this gives this truck really good control both on and off the road and allows the Rivian R1T to do what's described as turning like a tank. The next truck I'd like to highlight is very unique and that's the Bollinger B2. This truck has a starting price of around $125,000 and offers a range of around 200 miles. For how big this truck is, it has an impressive 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just 4.5 seconds, can tow up to 7,500 pounds, and production should start sometime late this year in 2021. The Bollinger B2 is a class three work truck with a simple military vehicle like design. It has no digital touch screens, but only analog instrument panels. According to Bollinger, they plan to include 10 120 volt outlets in the truck, as well as the ability to flip down the rear cabin and remove the back seats. It also includes a pass through tunnel, which allows for a 16 foot tunnel in the middle of the vehicle from front to rear. The next truck coming soon is the GMC Hummer EV. This truck has a base pricing of $80,000 to around $113,000. Depending on what version you pick, this vehicle will be able to travel 250 to 350 plus miles on a single charge, will be able to go 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3 seconds, should offer around a 5 foot bed, and the first delivery should happen as soon as the fall of this year, 2021. Here's a chart showing when each version will be available as well as the range and the price. 
As you can see, the first version to ship will cost somewhere around $113,000. The following fall of 2022, they plan to offer around a $100,000 version with a 300 mile range. In spring of 2023, a $90,000 version, and in spring of 2024, an $80,000 version. With its high price, the Hummer EV truck is definitely going to be a low volume, premium product geared towards off-road performance. The fact that GMC did not reveal any towing or payload specifications, but they were very heavy on the details when it comes to off-roading, make me believe that this is not meant to be a work truck, but rather an off-road truck. According to GMC, the Hummer EV will be able to scale 18 inch verticals and drive through water that is more than two feet deep. It also has a very unique feature that's enabled by its four wheel steering capability that they call crab walk. This allows the front and rear wheels to steer at the same angle at low speeds, enabling a diagonal movement of the vehicle. It includes rock sliders and skid plates underneath the vehicle. It also includes their ultra vision for camera system that includes new front and rear underbody cameras with live virtual spotter views. These cameras offer up to 18 available views from the vehicle to help increase awareness of the surroundings. The next truck that I'd like to cover coming soon is a Lordstown Endurance. This truck will have a starting price of around $52,500, offer a range of around 250 plus miles on a single charge, allow you to tow around 7,500 pounds, and should be available sometime late this year in 2021. When it comes to the Lordstown Company, they recently purchased the former Lordstown, Ohio manufacturing complex from GM. Lordstown Motors is a new company that was specifically set up to buy the Lordstown plant. It was created by Steve Burns, the founder and CEO of the startup Workhorse. The endurance truck will include seating for five, have 120 volt AC outlets, and it has a very unique in-wheel hub motor design. This should allow for great off-road and on-road control with motors in each wheel. When it comes to how far along they are with the design of the endurance pickup truck, according to this article, quote, in a statement released on Thursday, the company says it has initiated the metal stamping and welding for the first 57 endurance beta prototypes of the endurance and expects to complete the first beta vehicles on schedule in March. With this step on the horizon, we remain on track to meet our September start of production timeline while continuing to see indicators of strong demand from commercial, government, and military fleets. It also appears like they're receiving quite a few pre-orders for the endurance truck, which is a very promising sign. The next truck I'd like to mention is the Atlas Motors XT. This truck will cost somewhere between $45,000 and $78,000, depending on which model you pick and will offer up to 500 miles of range on a single charge. It should be able to go zero to 60 miles an hour in five seconds and allow hitch towing between 10,000 and 17,000 pounds, depending once again on which option you choose. The Atlas XT will allow you to choose between a six and a half or eight foot bed, and there should be some limited production happening in 2022. In this chart, you can see each one of the vehicles they plan to offer with the range and price. The highest price $78,000 Atlas XT allows for a gooseneck trailer to be attached in the bed. The next truck that I'd like to talk about is a Ford F-150 EV. We don't know a lot about this new Ford F-150 EV, but we do know as of September of 2020, they broke ground on the plant where they're going to build the Ford F-150 EV. Also, according to this Inside EVs article quote, the launch of the F-150 battery electric vehicle will follow the launch of the Transit EV in the fourth quarter of this year. The Ford F-150 battery electric vehicle will be market ready during the first quarter of 2022. The next pickup truck I'd like to talk about is GM's new pickup truck, not the GMC Hummer, but one under the Chevy brand name. This truck under the Chevy brand name should be capable of over 400 miles on a single charge. So those are all the main electric trucks that I expect to come out in the next couple of years. However, there are a couple more trucks that are worth mentioning that may come to fruition in the coming years. According to this Green Car Reports article, Fisker might bring out an electric pickup truck sometime in late 2023. In this article, they reference a tweet from Henrik Fisker, 
where he talks about the possibility of them bringing out this truck. Other than that, we don't really have a lot of details, but it might be interesting to see a truck from Fisker because Henrik Fisker is a great car designer. Another company that I hadn't heard about till recently is Hercules, and they plan to bring out the Hercules Alpha truck. According to them, they're targeting around 350 mile range for the truck, a 0 to 60 mile per hour time under three seconds, apparently some kind of four wheel steering for zero radius turning, impressive towing capabilities, and also a 2,500 pound payload. When it comes to a side-by-side -side comparison of the trucks that we know the most about, the Cybertruck, the Rivian R1T, the Bollinger B2, the Hummer EV, the Lordstown Endurance, and also the Atlas XT, here's a side-by-side -side chart to show just how these specs compare. When you look at a chart like this, it's easy to see that the Cybertruck offers a really good value. The Atlas XT should also be interesting if they're able to hit these targeted price, range, and towing capabilities. Here's how the bed links compare for each one of these trucks, the payload comparison, and also the ground clearance comparison, the numbers that we have for these trucks. Also for the Hummer EV, the Cybertruck, and the Rivian R1T, we have quite a bit of information for their off-roading capabilities. And as you can see on this chart, when you look at the ground clearance, the approach angle, departure angle, and breakover angle, these trucks will be very competitive with gas burning trucks like the Ford Raptor and the Ram TRX. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the next several years are going to be really exciting when it comes to electric trucks. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a good electric truck and in not too long, you'll have quite a few choices. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. Thank you so much.